Another important aspect of understanding particles is understanding what size of particles we are dealing with. And in terms of lubrication, we're always concerned with things that are incredibly small. So take, for instance, if we're looking at human hair. So we have a human hair and looking at the cross section of it, that is gonna be somewhere between 80 to 100 microns across. Now, the smallest you can see with the naked eye is about 40 microns. That's about half the human hair. And this is gonna be equivalent to fine dust. If you've ever been in a dark room with a, a projector or maybe using a, a laser pointer and seen the particles floating through the air in front of that light beam, those are about those 40 micron sized particles. So incredibly small, hard to see with the naked eye. Beyond that, we get into talcum powder, something like baby powder. That's typically milled down to 15 microns. A red blood cell is somewhere around 10 microns or five microns. And then bacteria is down at three microns in size. Keep in mind the lubricating film of a rolling element bearing is one micron or less. So the particles we are most concerned with are the particles that are equivalent to the lubricating film. So bacteria in several cases is gonna be a contaminant that's far too large for our machines. So filtration becomes very important. And when we look at the number of particles inside of an oil sample, as the particle size gets smaller, the number of them increase almost exponentially. And it's the smaller particles that are the most dangerous, and those are the ones that are most found in the lubricant. So we have to worry about the small ones and filter them out first. This is an excerpt from Noria's Lubrication Basics online training course, which covers topics like lubricant contamination control, lubricant storage and handling best practices, inspections on machine care, and daily rounds. It's the perfect course to get your team on the same page about lubrication excellence. Learn more at store.noria.com.